Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog Channel. And today we are talking about Lightroom and we're going to talk about catalog backup. Now we are talking about just the catalog being backed up. Your images will have to be backed up separately. So you should have a system in place for that. So this is the mechanism how Lightroom creates backup versions of all of the information that you have stored within the catalog itself. So to actually set up backup itself, you need to come here and you need to go to the catalog settings. And here in the general tab, you have backup catalog once a week. Now to make this work, we're going to go when Lightroom next exits. That's fine. We do get an option to change this afterwards. So now I'm going to quit Lightroom and that will trigger a backup. So we can see here, we got our backup dialog and we can see here the option now changes and we go back to our once a week when exiting Lightroom. There are other options, of course. You can have just this time. So when it exits, it will back up then. You can have it once a month, once a week, once every day when exiting and every time Lightroom exits. So each time you finish up a session, it will do a backup. That's a way of getting lots and lots and lots of backups. Uh, whichever one suits you is the one to choose. By default, it's once a week when exiting Lightroom. This is our backup folder, which is as it so happens, it's inside the folder that the catalog is in at the moment. But if you click choose, you can choose an alternative location for it to back up. When you do back up, it will test the integrity of the catalog to make sure the catalog's OK. And then it will optimize the catalog as well. That way your catalog will run faster, basically. So I'm going to click back up now because this is a small catalog and it should be fairly quick. So we can see it does the backup and the optimize there. And now it's going to quit. And we can see we got this folder here called backups, which is inside our catalog folder, which I had open in the background. And we can see this one that I've just created here. And if we go inside, we can see that it's a zip file. So it's quite small. If it was the full catalog size, it would be probably 10 times the size of that. So each backup gets uh, stored here. And as you can see, it's inside a dated folder. So you can build up. If you go to your backups and there's loads and loads of them, delete them. Just to keep the most recent ones because they just take up space. There's no point in keeping. You have your backup catalog. So now what happens when you need to replace the catalog that's already there in case it comes corrupt, becomes corrupted? Let's say you have a situation whereby you're getting lots of error messages. You can potentially uh, fix that. But what you need to do is you need to go into this backup folder here and with it unzipped. I'm just going to go into this mode here so that we can see what's going on. Let's say that this catalog here, this is actually our main catalog. We can see the previews beside it here. What we can do is if we rename this one and we put old in it just so that we have a keep a copy of it. Now what we can do is we can come in here and we can drag this one from where it was backed up. This is the open up one and it now becomes the main catalog. We double click on it and that will open and that will give us our backup catalog now becomes our main catalog. You may lose stuff uh, because if your backup hasn't been done for a week and you might lose a week's worth of stuff. So that's just a heads up that that can happen. But it's better to have most of your stuff in the catalog. You'll save for your files. Your files will still be on the drive. But you'll have most of your stuff in the catalog that you can then access all your settings and things like that. It'll just be the most recent stuff that needs to be re-imported. A way around that, of course, is to save out XMP information. So that is how to use catalog backup and how to replace a catalog in the case of corruption. Hey folks, I hope that was useful to you. If you liked it, do hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to get notifications of when I put new stuff online, hit the bell. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.